Hey, what's happening, everybody? I got the uh, new update for the shield here. I signed up for the hotfix and the hotfix 2. And we got the hotfix 2 just now. I just walked in from work. I don't think it shows you what's new. Oh, it does. Include fixes for streaming apps, not working issue reported by a few users, fixes shield controller. Enhances made for volume slider style includes fix for issues where adopted SD card can't be browsed. Fixes issues where VC1 format videos were not playing. Fixes issues where IR volume control stops working after enabling accessibility talkback functionality. Addresses issues where REC 2020 was not displaying when playing HDR content. Addresses issue where issues where setting default launcher was broken. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> so let's get this puppy downloaded and check it out. And uh, when it restarts, all will lose the cast signal. I don't use a capture card I just use a casting program so I'll try to point it at my TV here so we can still see until I get it recast reconnected Restart to install. So now we'll switch views here until it comes back on. I'm sorry I didn't shave and I just got off work. So I'm representing Brito Pizza. Upgrading your shield experience. Man, I need a haircut and a shave. Well, why this going's on? Going? Well, no, I'll wait. I'll put the link where you sign up in the descriptions where you sign up for the hotfix. Like I said, I did hot the hotfix one, even though the only issue I was I I had was the third party launcher. So hopefully this hotfix fixes that. But I like to do all the I like to do all the updates they offer. For some reason, they're not using the beta program. I'm signed up for that, but they're not using the beta program. So, but if you don't do the hot fixes, you just you're just gonna have to wait until they push out the next update, whenever that's gonna be, the 8.1 update or whatever. These are just hot fixes, hot fix images one, and then this is hot fix image two. I don't want to have to pause it because I want you guys to see how long it takes, but it's moving. It's trucking along slow. Let me get off camera. I know some of you don't like the vaping.
my first hotfix image, I had to unplug the shield for like five minutes, but this one looks like it's going smooth. Gotta be patient. There it goes. And it's showing us again what we just covered before. Finishing upgrade. Look at that guys, it's asking me what, which uh, launcher I want to use, I don't know if you can see that, you can't see that can you? Look at that. I'm going to just put Android TV home and I'm going to put always and then I'll show show you guys how to change it to your other launcher so now that we're back here let's go back do, do, do. Oh, let me see if it'll just Switch scenes here. All right, guys. All right, so we're on the Android TV home. So, how we switch to our whatever home we want? I'm going to show system apps. So we're going to scroll all the way through. And some of the system apps are mixed up like this. Some of these system apps are, are in your downloaded apps. And then some of your downloaded apps you're going to find in your system apps. Disabled apps, system apps. See this all-in-one toolbox is in my system apps. I'm just going to go through. Better open with is in my system apps. DNS changer, DU recorder, those are all downloaded apps. Those NFL streaming live, uh, premium eyes, real to Brid, Red Flix, series guide, Vanced, and YouTube Vanced. Those are all downloaded apps. So if you're not finding to clear your cache or whatever, or force stop, look through your system apps for if you don't find them in your downloaded apps. All right, so what we're looking for is Android TV Home. Right here. So you click on that, and you're going to go down here. See it says some default set. Click on clear defaults. Okay. Now when you hit your home button again, it's going to ask you which launcher you want to use for your default. I'm going to pick sideload channel. I'm going to hit always. 
Boom, guys. Look at that. So now when I go in and nap. Now I hit my home button. It's going to go to sideload channel 2. And I have my Android TV button right there. So I can hit my home button, go back to sideload channel 2. So if you want to change that, you go into your apps, sideload channel 2, some defaults set, clear those defaults. Okay, now hit your home button. Now it's going to ask you Android TV home or sideload channel 2. This works on anything you hit always on. Anything that pulls up an option and you hit always and you want to change it, go find that app in your apps and then clear the defaults. That's how you switch things. So that's the only, that's all that I wanted out of this update, this hotfix. So what you do, we're going to go to, you're going to go to this site. I'm going to put this URL in the description of the video. You'll go to this site and you're going to enter your serial number here. How do you find your serial number? It tells you right here if you forget. But you're going to go to device preferences. You're going to go to about. You're going to go down to status. And then your serial number is down there. Alright. So once again, you're going to go to sh shield settings. You're going to go to device preferences, about, and then status. And then you'll find your serial number and status. So you'll go to that this website that I put in the descriptions. And you're going to type that serial number in right there. I typed it in probably about four hours ago maybe five hours ago so I got the update pretty fast that first hotfix update it took probably 30 36 a day, a day and a half to get it but this one took five hours so jump on it guys all right that's it love you guys peace out happy streaming